My name is Wayne Kaupla. I'm a master's level addiction counselor. And today I'm going to explain to you in very simple terms, the brain disease of addiction. This is a diagram of the human brain, very rudimentary um, diagram. In the base of the brain is the survival part of the brain. What happens in this part of the brain are all the functions we need to survive. So either we're gonna fight, we're gonna go and fight somebody, we're gonna go and run away from a situation, we're gonna go and have some pleasure. That includes sex, that includes getting high. That all happens down here. The front part of our brain up in the frontal cortex are higher level functionings. And these are the things where we're gonna stop and think about things. What are the consequences of my behaviors? Also what happens up here are thoughts of I care and I love. And so the, the brain disease of addiction happens this way and they found this out with these functional magnetic resident imaging um, machines they have nowadays where they can actually look into a brain as a person is thinking and the areas that they're thinking in, that part of the brain lights up. So they take a normal person and they stick them in an fMRI machine and they show them a trigger, let's just say a bottle of alcohol. And so the signal, the visual signal comes in through their eyes, down their optic nerves and goes into the, this part of the brain. And the brain, even of a normal person, might say go and have a drink, they've seen a trigger. So that, and then 33 thousandths of a second later, those signals, those electrical chemical signals come up to this part of the brain and then this part of the brain lights up. And the person is thinking about, well, no, I have to drive home from the hospital. I might get a DUI, so stop. No, I'm not going to have a drink. Then they take an addict or an alcoholic and they stick them in the FRI machine. And they show them the same trigger. And again, the signal comes in through their optic nerve. And this part of the brain lights up and the addict or alcoholic thinks about getting high or getting drunk. And then what these resident imaging machines are showing is that this signal in the brain of an alcoholic, an addict, never gets through. The front part of the brain never lights up. So for the brain of an alcoholic or addict, it's all go and no stop. And so parents, you might ask yourself, why can't my child just stop smoking weed or drinking or shooting up heroin? It's because their brain doesn't work. For an addict and alcoholic when they're triggered, it's all go and no stop. They also don't care that you spent $100,000 on rehab and they're still all go. They don't care that you, they've taken all of your jewels, brought them to the pawn shop to get money for drugs because this part of their brain where they would think about those things is not working. And that is the disease of addiction in a nutshell.